Chang-Kui inside? Chang-Kui? He left early this morning. What do you want with him? Oh, recently he asked me to make him up some medicine. Some medicine? But there's nothing wrong with him. He doesn't need medicine. Uh, chang Chi, don't tell anybody, but I know you'll keep a secret. The medicine is for his horse. It's for his horse? Yeah, if you feed it to a horse, it'll run like blazes. I've been testing it out for a year now. It really works. But that's resorting to tricks. It makes it so unfair. Hey, Chang Chi, better not breathe a word of this to a soul. I promised him. I would tell nobody. Ta Chang Chi, you needn't be so afraid of him. Uh. Eh, hey, hey. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Master. How is everything going? Almost ready. Oh. Dad, do you think even more people are going to come this year? Hmm. When have I ever been wrong before? The race is held once every five years. The winner gets 500 gold tails. You'll see soon enough. They'll come. They can't afford to miss this race. <laughs> Will brother come? Is he going to race? Hmm. Of course he'll come. But he's no chance. Want a room, mister? Best hotel in town. Nice clean rooms, excellent service, meals included, and all the wine. Just 50 cents a day. Hmm. What's that? Too expensive? Lady, don't care much for food, just eat rice. But my horse here needs care. <laughs> don't worry, mister. A full bed of straw, all the oats he can eat. I assume you've come for the race. Your horse will be in capable hands. 
All right. <laughs> Mister, where are you from? Far away. Ah, oh, ah, come this way. Are you deaf? I didn't hear you. Tell me, that horse outside, the striking chestnut, where's it from? A guest just came in. A guest? Ever seen him before? Why ask all these questions? You never showed interest before. Don't you realize that that's a racehorse? And what a racehorse! Do you know that? I don't know. I didn't think you'd know. A racehorse is kept solely for racing. You understand now? Why do you have to tell me all this? <sighs> You're impossible to talk sense to. You don't think, do you? So tell me, which room's he in? Hmm. Asa Pao. He took him upstairs. Anything else? Cheng Chi, don't be so antagonistic towards me. I'm your brother. If you keep that surly attitude, I'll take a belt here. I'm Xiao Xiangui, my father owns this hotel. May I ask who you are? It's a cause. Name's Han Chang. Sit down. Hmm. What can I do for you? Mr. Hank, I was taking a look at your horse. What do you think? It's great. A fine animal. This is horse breeding country around here, but never have I seen one like yours. Huh. From the way you talk, you sound like a bloodstock expert. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I do like horses. Actually, I've been around horses for more than 10 years. I still don't know what goes on in their minds. Sometimes, I think horses behave just like women. Sometimes they're gentle, and other times as bad as a tiger. If they're in a good mood, they'll run like hell. If they're in a bad mood, they won't move an inch. You see... Mister, you know something about them. Must say I'm very happy to have run into you like this. I love talking horses. Come on, let me buy you a drink. Without me. No, no, you're the stranger. I should buy you a drink. No, you run the business here. If you always buy guest drinks, you'll never make any money. I insist. Thank you very much. After you. Uh, mister, here, here are some peanuts for you. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, would you like me to get you some more wine, huh? <laughs> A bow. Uh, mister. Young master. Huh. What would you like? A bow. Bring some wine. Tell the cook to make some sweetmeats. Quickly. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. <laughs> mister. There's someone I'm looking for. Who is it? He's about 30 years old. Not very tall. Big head. Round face. He's a natural horseman. And an expert throwing the knife. Oh. Think I know the guy. You do? First, I have to ask you, is he a friend of yours? No. We got a scotter saddle. There you go. Then I can tell you straight. Mister, I don't like the guy. Oh? What did he do to you? Well, a year ago, he won the race by flagrantly cheating. Mister, you reckon he'll come this year, too? He'll come for sure. It was only a small race last year, you see, and he won it so easily. This year's is bigger. He won't want to miss it. That's good enough. Well, you keep an eye out. Tell me as soon as he comes into town. Mister, what do you want? I don't want him around. I want to make sure he doesn't enter. Mister, he's not going to be that easy to deal with, you know. He's an expert with the knife. And I hear he's pretty good at Kung Fu, too. So, you... Huh. Mister. You don't think I'm up to it? Well, if you can get hold of that chopstick, I won't fight him. Your Kung Fu's even better than his. Come on, 
Hurry it up, will you? Come on. Get him out of there. Hurry it up. Hey. 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 Next time you try a trick like that, check who the owner is. Mister, can I come in? Please. Sit down. Please. Thank you. Mister, it seems you get along well with my brother. Your brother's a fine fellow. Straightforward. <laughs> I know very well what he's like. I know him well. And he can be just as tricky, too. I don't really want to criticize my own brother. But I wouldn't trust him too much. Otherwise, if you do get hurt, don't blame me. <laughs> Lady, I'm going to heed your advice. I'll watch out for him. I'll keep him at arm's length. <laughs> Thank you very much. But there is one thing you may be disappointed in. What's that? If the person you are looking for does come to this place, I won't be giving him a room to stay here. Why not? Because I don't want to have any trouble. That's the hotel's reputation. Ta Shang Shi, huh? Give me some medicine, will you? All right. Same stuff? Not this time. Huh? I want a purgative, so the horse will come down with diarrhea. What do you need that for? Don't ask. Just do as I tell you. Chang Kui, I refuse to make that drag up. Just do as I say. I'll need it. I'll be back later. Hey! Hey! Permission, please come in. Permission. Do you have any rooms? Yes, we do. I think I could see one. Yes, please. Please, come in. <laughs> Mister, uh, this way. Uh, Mister, what's your name? Oh, my name's Ting. Perhaps you could tell me what your name is, Miss. I'm Shang-Chi. You can call me that. Oh, <laughs> Miss Shang-Chi. Uh, nice to meet you. You needn't call me mister. I'm only a servant. You just call me Ting Fu. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mr. Ting, who's that man? He's my young master. The son of Ting Yu Chun, the chief of Ting Village. Everyone knows him. He's a very famous man. Oh, so he's Mr. Ting. Hmm. So why have you come so far? It's a long journey. For the horse races. My young master loves horse racing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ting? Who's that lady over there? Who is she? Oh, the lady is Miss Chi. She's my young master's fiance. Hey, mister, please, this way. Hey, please. Chang Chi, so many people. Are they all here for the race? <sighs> Brother, what do you think is more important? Running the hotel is a good business, or the races. What's the matter with you? Why are you so angry? That depends on you, but I'm warning you. You better stay away from Hang. What's up now? Have I been giving him trouble? I can tell from the way you look. I know what's on your mind. Chanchi, don't tell me what to do. Any more lip and I'll belt you. Hmm. Hey, waiter. All right, all right. Coming, sir, coming. Waiter! 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 Oh, coming, coming, uh, mister. Do you want a room? Uh, any rooms left? Yes, we do. Where are you from, mister? Huh? <laughs> Far away. But you've got no horse. Did you walk here? <laughs> you must be joking, miss. Uh, how could I walk here? My horse lost a shoe on the way. So I got to lift with a caravan. And so here I am at last. <laughs> <laughs> how long will you stay? I've come for the races. I'll be here about 10 days to a fortnight. Excuse me, sir, but will you pay a deposit? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, of course, of course. Here. Here's ten dollars. That enough? All right. What is your name, mister? Oh, my name? Lou Sher. But you can call me Sher. It's up to you. Hi, Paul. Uh, Show Mr. Lou up. Yes. Uh, Head this way, mister. Uh -huh. yeah. I'll do. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's wrong? You in pain? Uh, yes, Mr. <laughs> what a pleasant coincidence. Sit down. Uh, Mr. Hart, uh, don't laugh at me. Uh, maybe I should be leaving. Go to. Don't jump to conclusions. We have no quarrel. Come on. Sit down and drink. Uh, yes, uh, sure. Hey, mister, you want a room, huh? Waiter, I want the cheapest food in the cheapest room you've got. How much is it a day? Ah. <laughs> well, with meals and no wine, the cheapest works out at about 15 cents a day. <laughs> Waiter, do you need anyone to give you a hand? Huh? <laughs> uh, well... Hmm. <laughs> you must have traveled far if you're looking for a job. Not that at all. I came here for the horse race. The race? Where's your horse? Not got one yet. <laughs> You're not got a horse. You can't enter the race. <laughs> mm. You see, I heard that horses here are much, much cheaper. I'd have had to feed it if I'd brought along a horse with me. Anyway, I'm low on cash, so I need some work for some money. Do you have a job here? All right. You get a horse. If you win the race, you'll have lots of money. But if you should lose, then you can work here for a year, paying it off. What do you think? You're too kind of me. Miss, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Either way, you'll have to pay. What's your name? My name? Lin Yu Fang. At least that's my name. My family call me Xiao Fang. Ah, Pao, hmm? show him up to his room. After eating, show him to the horse market. Yeah. Uh, this way, please. Uh -huh. $27. So how come you bought such a lousy horse? Oh, mistress, that guy wouldn't listen to me. He insisted on buying that old nag. But how can he race on that horse? If it kills him, we'll end up paying his funeral. You're a fool. You can't even do a simple errand. How about, uh, uh... Do you know who that guy is? Huh? He looks like a fool. Who gives a damn about him? You've been up north. Have you ever heard of Lin Village? Mr. Lin, the chief of the village? I know him. Why mention him? Lin Kuei has got two sons. The first Yu Wei was killed last year in unknown circumstances. I went to his funeral myself. He's the second son, Lin Yu Fang. Well, the guy looks like a fool. And he's dirt poor. He couldn't be a son of Lin. This time, I'm afraid you made a mistake. <laughs> but I've been keeping a close eye on the fella. When he came in here, he carried a small bag. Perhaps you should see what's inside. Sure. You know very well that that's what I do best. Don't worry. <laughs> Call to. Huh? Whatever you find, leave as is. Sure. I've looked. 
What's in it? Bloody clothes. Kind of clothes. Just a man's bloody clothes. Blood everywhere. Already dry. Mr. Han, didn't you say nobody knew how his brother had died? Maybe... Goldtooth, don't tell us all. Huh? I won't breathe a word. Huh? <laughs> Just look what the crazy horse has done to you. Why didn't you pick a better one? It's all right, Chang Chi. The horse hasn't been trained yet. That's all. It's still sound. Huh? Chang Chi! Oh? You bastard! You got no money and you're chasing after my sister? Brother, are you mad? What do you mean? Young master, this is all a mistake. Mistake? I saw it with my own eyes. Don't deny it. For no good reason? Dad, this bastard tried Shut to... up! You're the bastard! Now apologize to him! You see, he did hurt you after all. Never mind. Uh, uh, Mr. Chang is a bit headstrong. Uh, I hope you'll forgive him. Forgive him this time. Uh, Mister, it was my fault. You mustn't blame him. He shouldn't have attacked you. I'm gonna talk to him. Huh? Yu Chun, hmm? that guy can sit on a horse well. I've seen you watching him. Do you want to learn from him? <laughs> Hang me. I wasn't watching his horsemanship. Then what were you looking at? I was looking at his spirit. He just never gives up, does he? Oh. My father wonders why you're only a playboy. But I know different. You can work hard if you want to. Miss! 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 It's terrible. You better come back to see. What's huh? happened? Someone's broken into a jewel case. I don't know how much has been stolen. You'll have to come back and check. Oh. What's missing? A pearl necklace has been stolen. Father brought it back from Japan. It's worth 20,000. Mr. King! Mr. King! Mr. King! Mr. King, what's happened here? Please come in. The mister says necklace is gone. Uh -huh. You see? Brother, he must be the guy. Hey, but if we don't have any proof, we could see anyone. Anyone in mind in particular? Mr. Ting, it's not that easy. One of your customers here is a notorious thief. But without any proof, we can't very well say it's him. Hmm, right. We must get proof. See if you can find some piece of evidence. But I don't want him to be put on the alert, so go easy. Oh, has he met you before? He doesn't know us. Good. That's much better. Then go ahead. <laughs> Before we came here for the horse race, I told you to keep that mouth of yours shut. But you like to show off. When are you going to learn to keep that mouth of yours shut for a change? What the hell's the matter with you? Hey, it's a guy. Hey, what do you know? You think your kung fu's that good? Then why do we get small pay, working as bodyguards? Master knows your big mouth, so he didn't tell you. But now I figure I'll have to tell you. The reason we've come to town is for a job. We're only using this work as cover. Why didn't you tell me that? I've been feeling real miserable. Uh, if I'd have told you, hmm, you'd have told everybody already. What? Uh, I promise I'll keep my mouth shut. No, you remember what I've told you. Act like a bodyguard. Do your duty at all times. Mister, 
I'm sorry, we're already full up. You'll have to go someplace else. What's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? I stayed here for two weeks a year ago. Give me a room. I'm an old customer, huh? Oh, old customer? Then you are... I am Chai. You remember? I am Chai Fei. Ah, Mr. Chai. Oh, I remember now. Last year's horse race, you won two cups. What now? Are you back again for more? Certainly. I won last year. Why not this year? A pal? Huh? Prepare a room for Mr. Chai. Yes. Mr. Chai, why don't you sit down here? Have some tea. Thank you. Morning, mister. This way, please. <laughs> hey, brother, he's here. Who's here? Who do you think? Chape, just arrived, all on his own. He's all on his own? That's impossible. The rest will be coming later. Oh, they'll wait till dark. We better be careful. Which room's he in? Oh. But please. The last one on the left. You just better calm down and do what I tell you. Hey, brother, don't worry. I will. I'll listen to you. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. Coco Chen, did you receive the letter I sent you by special courier? Yes, I did. The job I gave you, how's it going? No problem. Got ten of the best Mongolians. Their riding skills, knife, wrestling, is all excellent. I'm quite confident. What's the price? Ten gold tails each. And then we will work. That's 120 tails in all. That's right. And I want the lot before the job's completed. Fine. Koko Chin, after I paid them, can I use the fighters for my own work? Yes, yeah, sure. Fine. But it won't be tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I'll pay you. Mm, I'll be there waiting. What do you want? Coco Chin. You seem to speak excellent Chinese. Who are you? What do you want? Coco Chen. Why are you so aggressive? No need for you to be so rude. You shut up. Stop me. What the hell do you want? Coco Chen. I've got a deal to discuss with you. I'm sorry. You got the wrong man. I'm not a businessman. <laughs> but you like to talk business and negotiate deals. Look, I'm prepared to offer you 200 tails of gold. It will still work for him. Oh, in fact, you'll work for me. I don't get it. Why should you trust me, huh? Because your life is worth much more than 200. Oh? Guess I'll have to agree with what you want. That's an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> so it's a deal. Fine. Uh, mister, why do you want to stop me? Why do I stop you? Gold tooth? 
I think you've got a very good idea. Where's the pearl necklace? The pearl? <laughs> what pearls? I don't have any pearls. In that case, you make life difficult. <laughs> <laughs> You bastard, your kung fu isn't bad. Uh, I can only jump from place to place. So don't get angry, my friend. My friend, tell me about the pearls. Maybe there's something I can do for you. It is Miss Chi's pearls necklace. Know what I'm talking about? Oh, Miss Chi. Oh, Mr. Ting's fiance. That's right. Give me. <laughs> Mister, what the hell are you doing? Can't we talk? There's no need for force. But why ask me about the pearls? What am I supposed to know, huh? Why should I? Because you're a thief. How do you say I'm a thief? Why not try to frame me? Who's framing you? Everyone knows that you're a notorious thief. Uh, thank you, thank you. But if you could catch me, I wouldn't be so famous. Sorry I can't help you. Goldtooth, I don't have time to play any more games. Give it to me. Ah, uh, Don't keep saying that, or you'll make me angry. Do you have any proof? You've got to have some evidence. Be reasonable. Huh. Goldtooth, it's your lucky day today. If I get some evidence, I'll come and find you. <laughs> Close the door. Are you surprised? Mm -hmm. I am. Miss Chi, if you need another bodyguard, I'll do it. I don't like loose ends. You will have to make a choice. Fine. Tell me what your plan is. Once I tell you that, what's to prevent you from telling my enemies? Never mind. When I don't have any options, I go my own way. Fine, Lord Halang. <laughs> you know how many there are here who think, along exactly the same line, you should be satisfied. Fine. Tomorrow morning, see you on the plane. Reliable man. From what I hear, Lord Halang will arrive this afternoon. Uh, I heard that too. How many he'll bring along with him? Five wagons, a dozen horses, as good as an army. Miss Chi, the only thing, too, is not enough. That's that important. Because I heard Halang particularly likes young girls. <laughs> no wonder you're confident. After all, you're a real beauty. So it's up to you how much he depends on you. <laughs> you sure know how to flatter a young girl. Why'd you go out for practice gallop today, huh? Forget it. If I carry on, every bone I have will be broken. Oh. <laughs> if that's the case, are you going to give up entering for the big race? Give up? I refuse. But I want to take things easy now. Oh. <laughs> Transport is worse here. Who are you? Oh, my name is Lin Shea. Just call me Dad. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your name rings a bell. It reminds me of somebody. Who? Lu Shik Lang, the notorious thief and burglar. Oh? Brother Lin, can you give me a hand keeping an eye on him? Why do you want it? I've got a job to do. I can't do it alone. But if I have his help, I'm sure I'm going to succeed. Oh. Well, what is it? Excuse me. I'm not to tell anybody about it. Hey, my friend, I know the guy you mean. But you'll have to tell me. What do you want him to do? To get rid of my enemy. Huh? Kill a man? Kind of extreme, ain't it? It's the only way. He's got to go. I need him out of the way. He must be eliminated. It's not easy, 
Oh. I think you better tell me who it is. Chai Fei. Oh. Chai Fei. So what? You afraid of him? Is that true? Is he your enemy? What's he done to you? He killed my brother. Oh. No wonder you're back at all those bloody clothes. <laughs> bloody clothes? Why didn't you tell me? You searched through my bag. Lin Sha Lang, now I finally found you. There's a lot of business to discuss. Good. Li Ling doesn't know his pay. Don't forget, you're poor, you might be tempted. I was too poor for a good horse. But this one job will be sweet. I like it. Mister, I'll make you a fair offer. A hundred tails of gold, okay? It's fair. Hmm. Come here tonight. Lucia Lang, you're too busy these days. We have no time for idle gossip. <laughs> Mister. You're going to be kidding. I'm free. Go ahead. Lu Lang, I told you I'd pay you. So now, I brought the money. What is that? <laughs> Mister, I have a bad memory. You remind me. Huh. Never mind. But if you keep pretending, I'll tell who you are. Never mind. You can tell. They know I'm a thief. If I do, It'll put a stop to what plans you have for a big job. Oh, so you finally get around to the point. I'm not the boss. I'm just an errand boy. If you get in my way, somebody will come and stop you. Who is your boss, then? If you want trouble for yourself, then I'll tell you. If I was scared of trouble, I'd have stayed behind at home. Fine. A boss is Hang Tang. You don't scare me with Hang Tang. <laughs> Mister, I told you all I know. Now it's up to you. You want to make trouble for it? You'll be in danger. I think you better stay away from us. You listen to me. If I'm afraid, I wouldn't have come here. Lucia Lang, you should reconsider it. You help me, I'll help you. So we'll both benefit. Sarah's got a letter. I don't care how you do it, but get that letter. Miss G, if he has a letter, why didn't I know? He must have the letter somewhere. I need it tomorrow. All right. I'll do. Huh? I hear you have a secret letter. Who says so? Don't ask me questions. You got it? That's right, I do. Yeah. Has that letter got anything to do with this job? Maybe, maybe not. Since we're partners in this, we shouldn't keep secrets from each other. Unless you want to betray me. Huh? Don't come to high and mighty with me. I'm not. Hang time. Listen carefully. I'll say it once. Out.
you're so evil. Jai Fei, thanks a lot. I have to go. You forgot one thing. Don't you want the letter from Goldtooth? Oh, you see, I got a bad memory. Without your reminder, I'd have forgotten. Hey! <laughs> Out. Where's Chi? <laughs> if anyone else had come, I'd be a gunner for sure. A letter. If he just hit softly, but he was hitting Mr. Hart. I was scared he might really kill me. You shouldn't blame him. Chi Hang Mei isn't such a fool. Chi knows the game well. We can't try to deceive her so easy. I can assure you. So what? See this? This is your genuine Kung Fu. Can you do better than that? <laughs> Fine. Real Kung Fu. Real Kung Fu. This time Chi Hang Mei will be fooled by us. Go to. What do you think now? How much chance do we have? Mm, ten to one. That's no damn good. Hey, what's the point in even thinking about the risks involved? Everybody here is up to some devilish scheme or other. A mistake, and they're done for. Huh? What do you think we'll do next, huh? Mm, go back to the hotel and sleep. Forget everything. In mm. three days' time, <laughs> we will all be wealthy men. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress, our lad will attend to you himself. Ah. Your lord will attend to me himself. I must say I'm honored. You're welcome. Our lad likes to have guests. the letter. And me, where'd you get the letter from? I got the letter from Lin Sher. Think of it. This is a clever ruse to conceal a more dangerous plot. Who's the man waiting outside? Han Tang. He's a fighter. I've used him often before. He's reliable. Oh. Does he know of our relationship? No idea. I told him you like girls. Perhaps I could get him to meet you. resting inside. Come back for her in the afternoon. Here. A present from the Lord.
Nice day. Right along. Yeah. Nobody around. We can talk here without being overheard. Sure. I heard about your brother. You mean you know my brother was murdered? Well, world's a small place. No secret lasts for long. Mister, is that the only reason you suddenly turned up here? Yes. Any proof? Yes. What is it? You're here to get information for Chai Fei. Uh, you're jumping to conclusions. I never met the man. Then why are you asking me all these questions? Hey, if Chai Fei's really the killer, I must be careful of him myself. But you can see it clearly in his face. He looks evil. He's a dangerous man. You better stay clear of him. I'm sorry, but there's a reason why I have to stay with him. So I can't take your advice, I'm afraid. Do you mean to say you're against me? To tell you the truth, I've no wish to make an enemy of you. But for the next three days, don't go near him. Hang Tang, you've no right to ask me that kind of favor. Mister, no need for you to take that attitude with me. I'm bent on getting revenge. Nothing's gonna stop me. Mister, no point continuing this conversation. Goodbye. <laughs> this guy insisted in saying I'd murdered his brother. Well, didn't you? How can you say that to me? I don't even know the man. He says he's got certain proof. Forget it. I didn't do it, all right? Well, you can't ignore him. It still caused a lot of trouble. Tell me, what should I do? Go and talk to him. He won't believe me. Do I have to go on my knees to him? Now, Chai Fei, why don't we try being reasonable? If he changes his mind, that's good. Otherwise, <laughs> why don't we kill him, get rid of him? Come to that. Why not? You scared? Why should I be? If I didn't kill his brother, he's no proof. Accusation's groundless. Huh? But you said the guy's intent on giving trouble. Maybe he's up to something else. Yeah. You're right. I haven't had time to check out his background yet. But his kung fu is good. He isn't such a fool. If he intends giving us trouble, I'll let him see my knife. All right, forget it. First of all, you're scared. Now you're talking big. No, no to what? Hey, hey, hey. Here. Oh. Mistress, something's happened. A pal, what the hell is wrong with you? The, the lady upstairs has vanished. Oh. She didn't come down here. M -m Mistress, I tell you. A pal, uh, uh, coming. Uh, Mister, what do you want? A pal, what has happened? Uh, Mister, something is very wrong. Huh? A, a, a woman guest has just vanished. Huh? Maybe she's been kidnapped. No, I shouldn't think so. She would have screamed out. Somebody would have heard her. She couldn't be kidnapped without one of us finding out. Doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, but Miss Chi has just vanished, and you can't dispute that. Huh. Yeah, it's strange. Ah, uh, but listen. Mr. Ting, morning. Mr. Ting, I have just found out something that is very strange. Oh? What is it? Huh. Miss Chi has vanished, but you don't seem the least bit worried. <laughs> she said she was going out for a short ride, so why should I be worried? Oh? She left without telling you? You don't find that strange? She's always been like that. I've learned not to worry. Oh. Take your word. But your behavior does still seem strange. <laughs> Mr. T, if you do have a secret, why can't you tell me all about it? That's not a very smart thing to suggest. If it is a secret, why should I tell you anything? It's a secret. Ah. Uh. My lord. I will pay you 50,000 in cash. The remainder I will give you in check of the Typhoon Bank. Typhoon Bank? Okay. My lord, I do have one more request to make. And may 
What is it you want me to do for you now? Just tell me. At the hotel, there are a few men who've all come for the same reason. They don't want to spend. They just want to steal and then get out fast. What do you want me to do about it? I reckon the best thing is to kill the whole lot of them. <laughs> I draw the line at so much blood, I don't like killing. If so, just keep them prisoner for the next three days. And to tell me their names? Chai Fei, Lin Chir, and a man called Lin Yu Fang. Fine. I'll send my men out to catch them and lock them up. Thank you, my lord. I toast your wisdom. Flincher, I've got something to tell you. What is it? Everyone coming to the races this year seems so suspicious. I think you better leave here. Don't come back till after the races. But I came here to look for the man who murdered my brother. Now I'm on the trail. I'm not leaving. If you already know that man is, why don't you take your revenge on him? He's too good at Kung Fu. And he's an expert with the knife. I don't stand a chance against him. Who's he? Chai Fei. You can ambush him. I'll lead him right past you. Then you can kill him. Fine. Uh, mister, let's get down. All right. Tell me, mistress, why are we stopping at this spot? For a talk. Oh? Well, it's a good place for a talk. Here. Sit down. Come on. Mistress, stay away. Chai Fei, you killed my brother. Now you're gonna pay for it. You got it wrong. I didn't kill your brother. It's a mistake. Huh? The girl can ride a horse. Mister, let him go. I'm afraid the girl took us all in. Oh? Yeah. Sister! Hey, mistress, fall asleep. But this is urgent. Oh. Sister? Hmm? Sister! Yes? Yes. Chen Chi, why have you come here? Is someone after you? You needn't worry. I took all those fools in. Huh. Who do you mean? Chai Fei? Hang Tang and Lin Yu Fang. Hmm. You're a much smarter girl than I thought. <laughs> I follow you. You give the orders. But Lin hasn't come here for the reason he gave you. You must leave him. What's that? Say so you really love him. Mm. Don't worry. I won't go after him. But I've one more thing for you to do for me. Mister, who are all these people here? 
I don't know. Why are you giving us a helping hand? In this world, we should help each other. You're right. Lord Helene would like to see you. Wants to have a talk with you. All right. All right. We'll cooperate with you, my lord. Hmm. Good. And I swear I won't treat you badly when it's off. I'll detail my guard to escort you to Wu Chan. I'll take 60% of your goods, and you can keep 40. You're very kind to us. We got no objection. But about Chi Ma Yun? You needn't worry. I'm cooperating with you to get rid of her. I'm not a cruel man. But if she doesn't go, we won't be able to pull this job off. All right. We'll move out tomorrow. Meet at Piling Temple. You'll have a tin guard escort as far as Wu Cha, who's the leader of our escort. I'd like to meet him before we go. No need. With this seal, they'll follow your orders to the letter. Right. Any more instructions, Malone? <laughs> See you at Wu Chan. Mistress, it's you. <laughs> Mister, you're up very late. What's the matter? <laughs> Couldn't you sleep? I must say, we have some strange guests here. Where's than usual? I don't think there's a single one who is normal. Huh? Oh, what do you mean, they're not normal? They'll pay their bills, don't they? No one is giving you trouble. So, who are you talking about? Go and tell me. <laughs> What's wrong, Mister? How do I know that you don't know? Why must we play that silly game? There are no more secrets. In that case, how much do you know? To tell you the truth, I know a damn sight more than you do. I'll tell you the truth. It won't help you. For all you think you know, you're as good as dead. <laughs> are you trying to scare me? Surely you don't mean it. <laughs> you would understand if I told you the truth. So what? Someone really does want to kill me. That's right. <laughs> Who would have guessed that you know Gung Fu as well? <laughs> well, mister, why don't we talk this over? There's no need for force. 
And my father is under there. If you should see us fighting, you would be in big trouble. Oh. Ow! <laughs> 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 Mister, this is dangerous country. If a girl uses a knife, and I assure you I'll use it. So don't you do anything stupid, or you might just make me nervous. And I wouldn't want to hurt you. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't make a big deal of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, could you speak louder? I can't hear you. <laughs> Mistress, don't try to torture me to talk. What do you want? Just go ahead and ask me. Goldtooth, when will the jewelry be delivered? Uh, uh, tomorrow. I need to know the exact time of day. Now you better tell me. Uh, uh, six o'clock in the morning. Where is it to take place? Uh, the temple. <laughs> Anyone here? May I ask your name? Ante. Master. Below its orders. I'm to hand over the jewelry here. Then my job's over. But, uh, I'd, uh, want to examine them first. All right. Please. Where is the escort? It's on its way. All right, let's go. Mister, I got something to tell you about. What is it, Kaltu? The manager is back at the hotel. She forced me to tell her the time and place of the delivery, but I don't know why they haven't made a move. Do you think she might be planning to rob us? Huh? Didn't you say there was somebody behind her? Kaltu, when we decided to do this job, we were prepared for anything. Or anyone. If they come, we'll be tied them. Well, there's something suspicious that I don't understand. Oh? Huh? What do you suspect? Do you think she may is still planning a move? Isn't that quite unusual? And maybe she doesn't want to come any closer. Maybe they're in front of us both now. And they've laid traps for you in Wuchan. And are lying in wait for us. Well, that's not. Where are the bodyguards got to? Nobody else has taken their place. Huh? Perhaps they're following us at a distance. Go to. Go back and look. Check all around. Wherever they are. Whatever it takes. Make sure that you track them down. Yes, sir. Don't worry too much. We have to keep moving forward. If we have to make it through this time, we'll be very lucky. Huh. All right, be careful. Pay attention. Fine. <laughs> Open it. Play tricks at me. Damn your eyes.
Roberts. I thought the Lord had an escort. Where are they when we need them? Easy. Somebody is coming. How come? Yeah, here. Yeah. Hunting. That box you got, what's inside it? Why don't you see? Joe's a lot high. You're straight. And so am I. I tell you, there's nothing in the box. Impossible. Checked it before I took it. Okay. Open up the box. Then you'll understand. Javi. Huh? How did you know it had been changed? I know it well. I know it backwards. The jewels belong to Chin Han Mei now. Ah. Huh. The little bitch. Double crosses. I could kill him with bare hands. Mister, I gotta go after those jewels. You wanna go after them too? All right. Huh. Fenton, where are the jewels I asked you to take? My lord, you make a mistake. The aren't jewels, they're only rocks. If you really intended to go after those jewels, then you're a fool. There's no need for you to accuse me without just cause. Tell me, what do you do now? Nobody double crosses me, or he dies. You better start telling the truth, or your life ain't worth a penny. Come on, listen. If anyone moves, you'll be the first to die. Come on, you can try me. Try pay. All it. Kukuchin, how much money you get paid to betray? Why, Shato? You can stop masquerading as the Lord how long? The court sent me to bring you in alive to stand trial. <laughs> Taipei, I think we must move fast. They're fighting again. If Chin Han Mei reaches the valley, we're gonna be too late. All right, let's go. I'm placing you under arrest.
has made a little fetch. She's waiting in the valley. Listen, Lin Yu Fang! Miss G wants you to come on ahead and all! She wants to talk to you! The others can keep on moving! Mister, you can't go. You're walking into a trap. Never mind. At least I can find out what it is they're after. Hold it! Fang, you came all the way up here just to catch up with the murderer? But if you'd cooperate with me, I'll catch Chai Fei for you and let you take revenge. Miss Chi, I'm not worried about getting revenge now. Hmm. What do you want from me then? I'd like to prove something. That one person is responsible for all the crime going on here. Lin Yu Fei, who put you up to such a trick? I feel bad for you. Hey, May, don't talk to him. Let's get rid of him now before he causes more trouble. Lin Yufei, I'm going to give you an hour. Go back and think it over. Join up with me, and it'll go well for you. Will you really let me go? Hmm. Surely you realize I'll take the chance to kill you. I always keep my promises. I don't go back. Mister, how's it going now? Chow has brought up some extra forces. We're all surrounded. Mister, what are we going to do now? We have to come to a decision. Seems to me they've made up their minds. They want to get rid of us. Right now, we'll have to be a bit more patient. Don't rush into anything foolish. At least then we have a chance. John's trying to trick us. Launch us to separate. We aren't going to be fooled by him. If the man shows his face, he's going to be dead for certain. God damn it. He was stupid as low as that. Lin Yu Fang, it's useless of you to try to hide from me. Go easy on yourself. Come out with your hands up. Mister, let me go take a look what's happening. Lin don't be a fool. You stay here. Uh, my friend, calling in here is hardly very pleasant. Listen. The whole lot of us are in danger now. We're surrounded, if you're prepared to trust me. I'm sure I can find a way out of here easy enough. Ah, my friend, what is your idea then? Come on, tell us. I better tell you the truth. I'm a police inspector from Wu Chen. I get to meet the famous chief of detectives, Inspector Wang Chenjie. I knew about what my wishing was, to bring someone in. I figured it was the bandit. Hmm? Chi Chenjie is also a regular customer of this town. Now he's set up shop here. I think I'll move soon, too. Inspector, have you found out where he is? Yes, I have. Well, where is he? He's at the hotel. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't we have that information before? Why have we had to wait till now? Because he disguised himself brilliantly. Uh, well, who is the one, then? The owner of the hotel, Mr. Xiao. Oh. No wonder Chang Chen wanted to tell her where the blue diamonds are going to be delivered to. I'll make a deal with you. You help me get Chi Chin Fei and lock him up. And I'll forget all about your crimes in Wu Chan. Or else, we'll all be goners. Uh. uh oh. Mm. Here. No, no, no. Oh. All right. Yeah. Inspector, we're willing to cooperate with you in capturing Chi Jinfei, but uh, you have to keep your promise to us. 
Of course, I will. You bastard. Let's see how long you can hang on for. Dad, only Lin didn't come for the jewel. What do you know from that? That he's the only expert among them. Chief Fei, you'd better surrender. 
You still got time to change your mind. Mr. Lin, who the hell are you really? A detective from Wu Chen. This is our good chance to escape. Let's go. Right. Ah. Huh? I see. So you tore in on this for yourselves. You bastard. I reckon you want to get yourself killed. Brother, let's get rid of him. Go! to the court. I'll stand trial. Chijin Fei, that's wise of you to give up. I see you're no fool. Coco Chin, thank you. The jewelry you are after is in a horse in the valley. Inspector, 
Thank you for your help. My job is over. And now, I have many things to do. But it won't take long. Mm. Bye-bye. What happened? What exploded? I think it must be Cheech and Faye. He put some explosives into the jewels. He intended to kill us all. Oh, that's over. Villagers in the area can enjoy peace for a change. How's Cold Tooth? Never mind. He's okay. Go first. Fine. Inspector, is our agreement still on? Of course. I'll wipe your slate clean on the file in Wu Chen. But I hope, from now on, you'll find a better way to live. Don't worry. I'll stick with the good guys. Goodbye. Good luck. <laughs>